All right, everybody, uh, this is Ahmed Mojira with Imagination Everywhere. And in this video, we're going to install uh, Joomla uh, 1.6 beta. Because I just want to show you how to install that. And it's basically the same installation for uh, as it was for Joomla 1.5.7. Uh, but you have to have the, uh, the version of PHP 5.2 or, or higher. And some of you don't, so I want to show you how to install that on your Scent OS um, Apache server, which we have here. Um, I have a. This is the page that we're going to install Joomla on uh, the beta Imagination Everywhere info. If you watched the last video, you saw how I created the subdomain and the database for that. Um, but if we go into Putty, what you need to do if you have your server cur cur configured uh, correctly. I already have uh, PHP 5.2 installed, but this is all you have to do. You just got to go yum, upgrade, PHP. And, uh, like I said, uh, it's already been installed. So, you know, I mean, I I don't have to do that. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to let you know, you just use upgrade, um, PHP. Um, if not, just uh, contact your hosting device. Uh, 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 your hosting provider, and they'll tell you how to what commands to type into SSH. But that's basically all you have to do is yum upgrade uh, uh, PHP. Um, after you've done that, just make sure you restart your server. Um, you go in and. Um, in Plesk, uh, you just go into serv uh, services uh, management, and uh, I can actually show you that. Okay, so I'm in Plesk uh, control panel. What you want to do is you want to let me zoom in. You want to go to here to services management. Click on that. And as you can see, here's your uh, Apache web server. Just do uh, restart over here. Just click uh, restart service, and that's all you have to do to uh, make sure that PHP is is up and running. The other thing I wanted to tell you is I made a mistake on the command. You want to do yum. You want to do yum instead of yum upgrade. You want to do yum. Up, update PHP and it says you need to be root to perform this command so I just type in SU and put in my password I'm root and so I go yum update PHP and as you can see I've already updated it so that's how you update PHP on uh, on uh, your CentOS uh, uh, server so let me exit out of root because I don't really need to be in there and let's see what's in this directory I already have the Joomla 1.68 uh, 1.64 package installed I mean uh, uploaded to my uh, file as you can see I did this uh, via uh, FileZilla. I installed the package um, in the HTTP docs folder, and of course, I have a HT access file that uh, routes the HTTP docs folder to the HTTPS docs folder. So I installed it because I already have my certificate, uh, SSL certificate, installed on here. So uh, if we go back to SSH, and I just basically highlight this right here, and I go unzip. And hit that, it unzips it for me, and then I can go rm dash rf, and that deletes that file. And if I go back here, voila, we have our files here. Now, let's go to the uh, the web page. 
and there it is so we're ready for installation so let's click next and as you can see it does a pre-installation check and look at the problem that we have the configuration file is not writable you can still continue to uh, installation as configuration settings will be displayed at the end you will have to uh, manually update the code click in the text area to highlight the code well we don't have to do all that I'm going to show you another feature of SSH that you may not know about and that is if you want to create a file in like a text file or any type of file in in SSH all you have to do is, is uh, type the word nano and it creates a text editor for you and we, in which you can create text files and things like that we're not going to create a file right now but all we're going to do is save this file um, we're not going to create it we're not going to write anything to this file we're just going to save this file and what you do is you type control or, or you hit control O and we're just going to name this configuration PHP and hit return and that's it and we go control X to get out of the file and if we type in directory we can see the configuration PHP is there so we want to go ahead and highlight that because we want it to be writable so we go chmod 0777 and then bam that's writable and then if we go come back over here and pre-installation check again we're ready to go as you can see so let's go to the next step uh, here's the licenses agreement you know you can read through that if you want same thing for the previous version of, of Joomla and here's our MySQL database now in the last video we created a MySQL database and we got the username as IE underscore beta already had a password and the database name is IE beta so we just click and go next and click and go next again and type in this type in the basic stuff that you know about Joomla and then go for the reconfirm the password and you want to go ahead and install the sample data and then hit next and then the last thing that you need to do is uh, you need to go ahead and delete the installation directory so we go rm dash rf installation and that's gone if you go dir you see it's gone then you just go hit administration and voila it's here and we can go ahead and log in and here we go and we're going to be doing some more tutorials we're going to have a whole series on the beta um, they're still working on it um, so we're not going to I'm not going to really go into it but uh, we can also view the site you can see how different the new templates look and all that stuff so this is Joomla 1.6 beta you know so uh, try to install it uh, give me some comments and feedback on what you what your experience is and thank you for watching this video